So, I made a game. Uh, for those that don't know, Bevy did a game jam. It's their fifth one. And the theme was cycles. So I teamed up with someone who I uh, met on a previous jam because they gave uh, like a really interesting comments about my stuff. And when I like reached out to them and said, hey, do you want to do the jam this year? And they said, sure. So we uh, spent a week making a jam. I had my full-time job, so I only really got to work on it during the weekends. But uh, they took time off and they worked in the me- uh, during the week. So we ended up making what I call Hextra Dimensional. And so if you want to play the game, there'll be a link in the description. But otherwise, I'm just going to basically do like a little tutorial uh, like video showing you how to progress through the game to the state that it got to during the jam. And we do intend to actually continue developing it to at least like a fun little mini game that you can play. And we'll be releasing it on Steam uh, probably for free, maybe like a couple of dollars, but nothing like AAA release sort of thing. But if you open up the game, uh, and you find the source code as well on GitHub, but we go into play and you'll be introduced to a hexagon map, which is in fact seeded and weirdly like dependent on the size of the, the screen, like it'll always be the same one, but you can get just more of it if you full screen your map. Uh, you can walk around as a little ducky and the arrow tells you what direction you're going to come in. So if I come in at the little arrow here, it means I'm going to come in from like the right side and I'll fall down. If I point the arrow to the top and come in, I'll fall in from the top. And if we point the arrow from the bottom, we pop up at the bottom. The main reason for this is these larger chunks with ores on them is if we walk in and we actually spawn like in an actual chunk, which means if you come in from the bottom of these chunks, you tend to get stuck. Uh, this is actually the primary reason you can't play a web build on the itch page is because uh, the way I was checking this uh, itch didn't like because it was telling me I had permission denied which worked on a local because it was a 404 that I was specifically looking for and it, permission died 403 so it doesn't work on itch but that'll be fixed as soon as the jam's over because it, it was really simple to fix I just didn't know about it until after I uploaded and I would run out of time at that point anyway I've set up in the center tile all the possible things you can build so the first thing you can do is go to a stone node and mine up uh, 27 stone well, I think it's 26 actually. So if you make a cube of stone with a hole in the middle, you can then punch the missing stone here, place it in, and it'll turn into a furnace. With the furnace, there is iron ore, copper ore, and cobalt ore. And if you place a coal under a furnace and then place an ore on top, it'll smelt with the one second cycle. And then cobalt, like that. And that's how you get all the different ores in the game. If you then surround blocks like this, with iron and then any two blocks in the middle, these have to be solid, they can't be air. Like that, you get a drill. The drill can be placed on top of blocks and like with the one second cycle, which is how we fit the theme, it'll mine something. And technically the drill is super overpowered because like it, it can literally do this to any block, like bedrock, which you can't break. You can then mine. But luckily because of how I programmed it, the bedrock not being breakable is actually a unintentional or like it was sort of like we just need a platform to land on and because it's outside the chunk you can't break it because it checks the chunk to see what you get but means if you place bedrock inside a chunk you actually can break it which means like no trapping yourself in bedrock block uh and another place that drills are really overpowered is if you place a drill in a drill you actually literally mine more drills so drills pretty overpowered they, but they can't mine air so that's good uh yeah and then there's also sand that uh can turn into glass more just a cosmetic thing you can smelt sand into glass uh, so that's all the small thing. And then finally, we've got pistons, which is which sort of like what we were going for, is the idea is you can push all the stuff around. So if you place a drill uh, on top of like coal and then a furnace, it'll actually smelt the blocks. Like you don't have to place them. Like the items are smeltable as well, if they meet the criteria of having coal on the bottom and a smeltable ore on top. Uh, and But it has to be an item. So annoyingly, you can't have a drill mining coal and then placing blocks on top. They have to also be an item from Finally, pistons, the, the main thing I want to show. So if you build basically a cube of iron with a layer of copper on top and then two cobalt blocks, you'll get a tier one piston. So we mine this and then place it. So we get a tier one piston. And if we jump on a tier one piston, it'll, when the cycle hits, fire us in the air. Or at least it, it should. Oh, it probably doesn't mean... Right. It spawned a regular one instead of placing one, which... Did, uh, the copper top one. Oop, I hit the wrong key. There you go. Uh, and I put the wrong one. That's the, the tier two. You're not supposed to get this fire, fire that high up. I'll come back down. So that, that's a tier two. Uh, so, I mean, blue arrow there. Okay. This is a tier one piston. There you go. Copper top, cobalt piston. In theory, if I thought about it, but it didn't until after the jam, I would have made it, you place two pistons in here to make the tier two. But anyway, to make the tier two, you just swap cobalt for copper. 
there's no rarity difference. It was just like tier wise, it's iron, copper, cobalt. So in theory, swap the two around, get a next tier up piston, and boop. And then again, it won't work because apparently there's a bug that it doesn't add the right components. But if we jump on this one, it just fires up really high. And this also, again, works with um, items. So if we just, again, teleport ourselves back down. If we place like a drill next to a piston, it'll just shoot the item in the air. The idea was that you'd be able to build like a factory that pushes things around. So I, I did do things like while doing testing that was kind of fun of building a drill and like trying to build an automatic furnace that pushed the blocks through just by the physics of the uh, drill spawning new blocks. It would push them. Um, I'm also in a debug build. This is what you'd see in the normal game. None of that debug stuff. Uh, but yeah, so it, it basically spawn blocks like this without the thing. And and then by building a physical structure around it, I actually like set it up so that it would automatically push them over the top of the furnace and spell them. So that's extra dimensional. So hopefully you enjoy uh, the game and go like raid it and whatnot. And check out the other games in the jam because the Bevy Jam is a hell of a lot of fun and some people have made some pretty cool games. I uh, will hopefully be streaming that tomorrow when the um, I get home from work because... I knock off early on Fridays and I'll go through all the submissions if people want to join me.